Dozens of people in Washtenaw County and surrounding areas have become firm believers in flying saucers in the past few weeks. Over the weekend, more reports. Forty persons, 12 of them law officers, reported seeing an unidentified flying object land in a swamp near Ann Arbor. Officers said four sister ships hovered in a quarter circle above the other object which landed. They said it then took off with a warbling sound like the echo of a ricocheting bullet. Dexter policeman Robert Hunnewill said he and other residents saw similar objects zipping through the skies early last Monday and again on Wednesday. He explained to WJR's William Harris. Over in the area where the one was down, he just disappeared completely out of the fact that he didn't even see the wind. Well, they just came in there, he cut their lights and what, that they disappeared completely. And uh, the, the one that went over my car and the other patrol cars, uh, I watched it until it got a little bit beyond Territorial Road. I went back to see if I could, or look back to see if I could see the other ones there, and they were gone, and I would turn back to look and see the other one. That one was still there, and it was gone, too. Was this the one that was on the ground? Possibly. I wouldn't swear that it was. 47-year-old Frank Manor, a farmer, and his 19-year-old son, Ronald, said they approached within 100 yards of the strange object sighted last night. They said it lay in a swamp and had pulsating lights on each end. Manor said it was pitted like coral rock and about the length of a car. He said its shape was like that of a football. Manor said his son then said, look at that horrible thing, and the craft vanished. Six police cars chased the formation of strange objects, but the objects vanished in the darkness. In Washington, the Air Force said it had no report as yet on the latest sighting of the UFOs, but that its investigative office at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton is checking the incident. Well, the Air Force is characteristically silent on UFO reports. State Police Colonel Frederick Davids says he plans to look into the matters. We, we certainly are interested in these reports that are coming in, and we intend to look further into it. We have uh, men assigned now that are inquiring into it, and expect they will talk with Washington County authorities and with some of the people that are supposed to have uh, seen certain objects. What is your personal attitude toward these objects? Well, actually, I know nothing more about them than what I read or hear in the reports, but when you get uh, as many people citing something, as cited uh, uh, things last night in the Dexter area and over the weekend, why, I think it's time to take another long, hard look at it anyway. I think many of these people certainly aren't the type that make a report just for the sake of the publicity probably truly did uh, see something. State Police Colonel Frederick Davids questioned by WJR newsman Dave White. This has just come in from Ann Arbor. WJR's William Harris, reporting from there, has just interviewed the Washtenaw County Sheriff, Douglas Harvey. Sheriff, as I understand it, you've just completed an investigation on the scene of the sighting last night. Uh, what did you discover? Uh, we found nothing out there. Uh, there's no indication, no evidence of where it's come down, where the Mr. Manor said they'd come down, where my officer stated that the area would have come down. Also, uh, the Geiger counter picked up nothing. There was no uh, flat grass, flat brush, or anything that would indicate something had landed there? None whatsoever. Do you have any theories as to what this might be? I wish I did. I wish I had some answers. I, I don't. I uh, was a little doubtful at first when they first sighting. This was on the 17th. We sighted the first one my men did. Then again on the 18th and then last night. But now we've got too many people, too many trained officers have also seen this. So I, my doubt is gone. I know they've seen something. What it is, I don't know. Do you intend to continue your investigation? Very definitely. Until we find out exactly what it is. I'm going to get some